Inside the AHSAA, your weekly look inside Alabama prep athletics. Brought to you by TeamIP.com, AL.com, Encore Rehabilitation, Alpha Insurance, Wilson, South Point Bank, Russell Athletic, and Coca-Cola. Welcome to Inside the AHSAA. I'm your host, Luke Robinson. This week, we'll be taking you through everything going on in the world of Alabama high school athletics. Four state baseball coaches and the AHSAA's director of officials are set to be inducted into the Alabama Baseball Coaches Association Hall of Fame Friday night at the Birmingham Marriott Hotel. Greg Brewer, the AHSAA director of officials since 1985, will receive the Baseball Coaches Association Distinguished Service Award. Also to be inducted in the Hall of Fame, former Jefferson Davis Community College coach Floyd Adams, Gadsden State Community College coach Bill Lockridge, former Leroy High School coach Danny Powell, who is now at Jackson, and finally Ken Whittle of Trinity Presbyterian. The banquet will begin at 7 p.m. Friday as the highlight of the 2012 ALA BCA 17th Annual Coaches Convention. The convention will be at the Birmingham Marriott beginning Thursday, January 19th and will conclude Saturday, January 21st. The convention will begin Thursday with hot stove sessions on pitching and hitting from 8 to 10 p.m. The convention will conclude at noon on Saturday with Auburn assistant coach Gabe Gross, a former Northview High School and Auburn University and Major League player, rounding out the speaker sessions. A complete convention itinerary can be found at www.alabca.org. All youth league, summer, and travel league, and high school and coaches and professional scouts are invited to attend. Registration and payment fees will be done on site at the Marriott. We'll be back with more Inside the AHSAA in just a moment. With over 40 years of combined experience, SignSource is the premier sign supplier for Central Alabama. From illuminated and monument signs for your business, to banners, car wraps, or political yard signs for the individual, SignSource can do it all. We specialize in designing sign concepts that get results. Contact us today at 256-825-0197 or on the web at signsourcenow.com. Go straight to the source. Sign Source. Raymond White has been a basketball coaching icon in the Wiregrass for a long time. Tuesday night, he joined a very exclusive coaches club when his Jaguars beat Ayrton 71-27 for the 700th win of his prep head coaching career. He came into the week at 699 and 232. Barber County improved to 24-0 with the victory. Retired RC Hatch coach Eugene Mason is the AHSAA's all-time leader with 919 wins. Richard Robertson of Andalusia, who won his 700th game last season in the Class 4A tournament, who won his 700th game last season in the Class 4A area tournament, was the last coach to reach 700 wins prior to White. LMG is a marketing group dedicated to designing successful advertising techniques for all of its clients. LMG can handle any promotional project from web design and signage to corporate apparel and media exposure. Contact LMG today through their website at leemarketing.net. LMG, success by design. In one of the closest votes in the 30 years of Mr. Football history, Daphne running back T.J. Yeldon was named the Alabama Sports Writers Association's Mr. Football for the 2011 season Wednesday at the ASWA Annual Player of the Year Awards Luncheon. The luncheon is hosted by Alabama High School Athletic Directors and Coaches Association at the Alabama Activity Center in Montgomery. He was one of 42 finalists for the award. All were recognized at the luncheon banquet. Yeldon, who is 6'2", 210 pounds, and a running back, rushed for 2,196 yards in 12 games during the 2011 series on 231 carries, which is a 9.6 average. He also scored 31 touchdowns. He broke the 300-yard mark on two occasions in leading the Trojans to the Class 6A number one ranking for much of the season and a 10-2 final record. The award is presented annually to the player that ASWA considers to be the state's most outstanding prep football player for that year. As a junior, Yeldon rushed for 1,110 yards and 18 touchdowns while grabbing 
506 yards receiving and helping the Trojans to the Class 6A title. His career totals include three straight 1,000-yard season, 4,653 career rushing yards, and 73 total touchdowns. Yeldon finished with 187 points in the vote by the ASWA's prep committee. Hueytown quarterback Jameis Jabu Winston, the Class 5A back of the year, was second with 173 points, while Aniston running back Tromaine Pope, the Class 4A back of the year, was third with 116. Fultondale quarterback and Class 2A back of the year, Ardarius Stewart, was fourth with 84, and Thomasville linebacker and Class 4A lineman of the year, Tyler Hayes, was fifth with 79. Also named the ASWA Class 6A back of the year and to the group Super 12 team, Yeldon rushed for 116 yards and three touchdowns in the Alabama-Mississippi All-Star Game and had 51 all-purpose yards in the U.S. Army All-American Bowl. Yeldon has enrolled earlier this month at the University of Alabama. He becomes the first running back to win the ASWA's award since Carnell Williams of Etowah in 2000 and the sixth player from the Mobile area joining Tommy Compton of Viger in 1982, Daryl Williams of Viger in 1988, DeMarco McNeil of Blunt in 1998, Jamarcus Russell of Williamson in 2002, and Julio Jones of Foley in 2007. Hey, thanks so much for being with us this week. Hope to see you next week on Inside the AHSA.